So let's talk about the various heart surgeries mm -hmm. and when minimally invasive surgery can be used and when it can't. Sure, sure. I'll freely admit I don't do every operation minimally invasively and some try to do almost every operation minimally invasively and some are highly successful and some do just dabble in it. So there's a broad range of what should or could be done like bypass surgery, which is the most common heart operation that happens. There's 300,000 of these operations a year across the country. And that's basically when you have blockage in your arteries and you need to take blood flow past the blockage. We can do that by taking a vein out of your leg or an artery on the inside of your chest, and we're just, re it's plumbing. We're just rerouting the blood. It's very difficult to do those operations minimally invasively. There's a small cohort, very small, like can count it on two hands, of surgeons that will do that robotically and they will turn that a three-hour operation into a nine-hour operation just to save a sternotomy for better or for worse what that 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 is, that is what it is and some people would prefer that some some surgeons can do small incisions for bypass surgery um, and get away with with doing the bypass but for the most part bypass surgery is an open heart operation I'll say as much as I'm a proponent of always thinking minimally invasive first, the standard, gold standard way to do heart surgery, which is kind of through the middle of the chest, people tolerate quite well. Nobody, it sounds brutal, it sounds terrible. It often is a less painful incision than other parts of the body. People recover, they do great. Uh, most of the things we do minimally invasively would be like atrial fibrillation surgery, which is kind of my, my one of my main specialties valve surgery where we can go in through smaller incisions on the side and not have to go through the front for either the aortic valve or the mitral valve. Um, and, um, you know, I, I think like big aneurysm stuff typically is more likely going to be. So anything that can be done minimally invasively, surgeons that use robots often can do robotically, but robot is just a fancy tool for surgeons. So sometimes people ask me, oh, do you do it robotically? No, I don't necessarily use the robot, but it's the exact same incisions, and I'm just used to the minimally invasive techniques to operate without it. What robots do is they enable surgeons that have conventionally been open, big, big incision surgeons, to small incision surgeons because the robot can give you a certain degree of uh, technical proficiency you might not have, you know, or it might take a long time to learn.